Hi, Bagaholics! I love doing reviews for rare and very expensive items because not everyone has access to these items and not everyone has seen these items in person. So in this video, I will be reviewing my favorite bag from Hermes so far. And that's a Hermes Gypsier 28 bag. <laughs> Now I want to tell you I'm not a big expert in Hermes, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, so if I'm doing it wrong, please correct me in comments. And uh, I own like 7 or 8 bags, I resold most of them and uh, I currently have 3 which are available on our website lvbagaholic.com. Um, this Hermes Gypsier, um, Hermes Kelly and Hermes Kelly Dons. But uh, I just want to share my impressions because I've been a Louis Vuitton lover for a really long time. I'm not a Chanel person yet, probably. And uh, I recently started collecting and enjoying Hermes bags. So here are my impressions um, on the overall quality and the item that we have right now. If you never owned an Hermes item but you're planning on having one, uh, you will be surprised by the quality. And the surprise might be <laughs> I mean, positive and negative. To tell you the truth, I'm quite disappointed by the quality of the Birkins. Because whenever you have, I had like three Birkins and whenever you carry it with you, um, you get home and you notice some additional scratches, uh, the corners fading or like scratch. That's a huge disappointment because this bag is the icon. This bag is something, the, the holy grail of every bag collectioner. And you're, I was dreaming about a Birkin. I, I thought I would never afford this bag. I, I didn't even know that was possible and then I had one and uh, it was beautiful it was very it was in um, Clemence leather um, chocolate uh, with gold hardware and it was like perfect um, but again um, I heard from other Birkin owners that not all the leathers are as durable as Clemence and even Clemence is not the best, uh, not the most durable Hermes leather. So um, I carried it several times and then uh, I saw corners scratched and uh, I was a little disappointed. Um, I sold it and then I started rotating other Hermes bags like I'm just looking at other options which are available because I'm not a Birkin person, it's not really the most comfortable bag for me because I love shoulder bags, I love crossbody bags um, with the hands-free bags. And uh, then I bought an Hermes Kelly and uh, it was also Clemence um, and the quality was pretty, pretty good. Um, by the way, I have a review of a, this Kelly on my channel, so just check, check it somewhere here and uh, I finally finally this month I found the bag which is perfect for me and which is Hermes and that's an Hermes Gypsier 28 sorry for the long introduction but I had to do that and uh, I actually fell in love with the color um, and this color is called Malahate and uh, the, it, it's very, very beautiful. It would be even more beautiful with gold hardware. I love this combination, but uh, that bag has silver hardware and I'm okay with that. Here are the reasons I love it. First, that's a crossbody. I mean, you can uh, adjust the strap to your height, to your um, body structure, and uh, it's very, very soft. So it doesn't hurt your shoulder or your back. And the bag is also very lightweight. I mean, you don't even feel it when it's on your shoulder or when you're carrying it with you. You, you don't feel the weight of this 
um, type of leather. Second, um, as this bag is a crossbody, you don't put it a lot on chairs, on tables, on, on everything. And so the corners are barely touched. And uh, that here's what I mean. Uh, if you take a look at this bag, you'll notice that it's quite used. I mean, it's, it's not an item that's been in the closet for years and then the owner decided to sell it. Um, that's an item that was in use, definitely, and uh, it has signs of use. But if we take a look at the corners and remember the Birkin I told you about, well, you can notice the wear here, but most of it, most of it is on the glazing. So the glazing doesn't look like new, but it's easy to be repaired. If that were a Birkin 25, for example, or a 30 or a 35, the corners, I mean, the leather and the color on the corners would be uh, scratched. And you would have to go to Paris and go to their spa and ask them to recolor the corners. Well, with the glazing, I'd say it's simpler because um, you can repair the glazing at every um, good spa service in your city, in your neighborhood. And uh, it would be easier and it will be barely noticeable comparing to uh, Hermes Spa. I mean, the quality would be um, just as the quality of Hermes. And I'm not sure that would have really affect the resale, resale value of the bag. By the way, here is a good point for discussion. What do you think? If we fix the glazing um, at a non Hermes spa, would that affect the um, price of the bag? Because if you fix the corners of a Birkin, for example, um, that would really affect the price. So you'll have to sell it lower, much lower. And uh, there are people that don't buy the um, bags that have been to non Hermes spa at all because Hermes will never touch them and you lose the, the right to repair it at the um, Paris Hermes spa. So I was talking about the point too, why I love this bag. And I love this bag because due to shape and due to uh, it being a crossbody, um, the leather is in really great condition, though you can, uh, if we take a look at the back of the bag, uh, we can clearly see that this bag was used and this bag um, was used a lot. It still looks nice. And the third reason why I really love Gypsier is its size. And I'm talking about the size 28 because um, it turned out to be perfect for me and my purposes. You know, another bag that I'm really in love with is uh, Pochet Medis from Louis Vuitton. And if you compare the size of these bags, it's very, very close in terms of what it can hold and what you can store inside. And even in terms of weight, I guess they are pretty much close. I guess I'm doing something that Hermes fans will never forgive me. Sorry. And here's last but not least. I was never a fan of this type of lock that Hermes is using on multiple bags, including Birkin, Kelly, and Gypsy Air as well. Because uh, I feel like I'm wasting too much time on just opening the bag every time. Um, during the day, I open the bag maybe 30, 40 times if I'm out, if I'm hanging out with uh, friends or go to a special event, I, I just have to open it. And uh, every time you have to do that, like, okay, okay, I'm opening my bag, I'm opening my bag. But somehow with this chips here, with this bag, the opening is really comfortable. I don't know, maybe it's due to the uh, soft leather, due to soft leather. Um, maybe it's due to this structure of the bag, because you, this, this flap is, um, has weight and it's very easy to open it and get something uh, from the bag. I don't know why, but uh, on this bag, this is the only bag actually where I love this type of lock and I still feel I'm wasting too much time, but um, it feels quite good. It feels nice. 
Alright Bagaholics, that was a review of Hermes Gypsy Air. Subscribe to the channel to get the latest review on luxury bags and to learn which luxury bag is right for you. We discuss bags a lot. We are bagaholics. Thank you for watching and like this video if it was useful and see you next week. Bye-bye.